April 2015 is the polyhedral sets package. What is a polyhedral set? Well, it's a collection of points that form a polyhedron. It's a convex set with linear boundaries that can either be bounded or unbounded. It can be represented using its half space representation or H representation that models the set as the intersection of a finite number of half spaces. Alternatively, sets can be represented using the vertex representation or V representation where the set is a convex combination of vertices and a conical combination of rays. 50 new commands have been introduced in Maple 2015 for working with polyhedral sets, both in the polyhedral sets package and its example sets sub-package. Let's go through some of those commands now. First off, for creating sets, you can create a set using its H representation by passing a list of equalities and inequalities with rational coefficients or from a set's V representation by passing a list of vertices and a list of rays. And once you've created a set, you can easily get its V representation using the vertices and rays command or its H representation using the relations command. The inputs are all simplified in Maple so that the sets that you're creating will have a minimal representation internally. This makes the sets more computationally efficient to work with and can help show you what the structure of the sets look like. For example, any extra vertices and rays will be removed, and the relations will be solved to form a minimal system. You can visualize your sets both in 2D and 3D using the plot command, where we've included many options so that you can style the sets exactly how you would like by customizing how the faces, edges, and vertices will be rendered. In addition, you can plot unbounded sets and here you can see that the interior of the set is rendered transparently, so that way you can tell exactly what is and isn't a part of your set. There have been a whole host of commands that have been created so that you can make sets in one command line. Some of these examples include some polygons, the regular polygons, and a number of special sets that can be created in any number of dimensions. So for example, you can create a five-dimensional simplex using this one command and it automatically generates a list of relations that represent this set. In addition, you can create random sets. So this command would generate a random solid with four faces in two-dimensional space. And this is helpful for creating test cases for algorithms or creating pedagogical examples. You can also calculate various properties of a set. So for example, we can compute the facets of a tetrahedron. So computing all of its faces, we see that we get returned its one, two, three, four faces of the tetrahedron. Plotting these four faces, you can see that they're all rendered in different colors, so we can see which set is which and how they all form the tetrahedron when put together. You can also query for faces of a given dimension. So for the tetrahedron, for example, you can ask for all of its one-dimensional faces, and this corresponds to its edges, and the tetrahedron has six edges. Plotting the tetrahedron, you get a skeleton of its outline. You can investigate the relationship between faces, because as you look at the faces of the set, you can also look at the faces of those faces, and the faces of those faces, etc. And this, these relationships form a graph. Using the graph command in the package, you can get the graph object and a plot of the set's graph. And this graph object can be manipulated using the graph theory package in Maple so that you can study the relationship between the faces of different sets. You can get faces of a set based on their ID from this graph tree. You can calculate the standard properties of a set, things like its volume, area, and length. And you can also compute various related sets, such as the set's affine hull, its characteristic cone, or its linearity space. So for example, a triangle in 3D space, its affine hull consists of the plane in which the triangle lies. There are various commands for working with sets. For example, you can apply transformation matrices and translation vectors to a set. You can also perform projections onto lower dimensional subspaces. So for example, the pyramid seen here will be projected onto the plane defined by this equation. We use the project command to project the pyramid onto this projection subspace 
and we can draw all three elements to get a good feeling for what this looks like. You can form the convex hull of a list of sets. So for example, in this case, we have the cube and the tetrahedron, and their convex hull is going to be the smallest polyhedral set that contains both of these sets. And that's the green set that we see rendered transparently here. In addition, the standard set operators have been extended to work with polyhedral sets. So for example, we can take the intersection of the cube with the tetrahedron, and we get a cube that has four of its corners cut off. You can do things like test for membership, whether a point is in the set, so in this case the origin would be inside the cube. You can compute the dual of a set, where faces are mapped to vertices and vice versa. So this octagonal prism, for example, is mapped into this diamond shape. You can split a set into simplices, and this can be useful, for example, if you have a collision detection algorithm that can't work with arbitrary geometries, but that can work with tetrahedrons, for example. So in this case, this, the cube is split into six different pieces, six different tetrahedrons. The package supports higher dimensional sets, and only the plotting command is limited to two or three dimensions. For example here, a simplex in four dimensions can easily be created, and we can calculate its volume, its four-dimensional volume, or we can even calculate its three-dimensional volume, which would be the sum of all of its three-dimensional faces. And we can compute the graph of a four-dimensional set. And we can see that this graph has more layers than the three-dimensional set of the tetrahedron that we studied above. Full details of the package are available online, and so you can see what commands are listed in the help pages, and these commands have examples showing you how the package can be used. So please see our website for all the details. Thank you.